Not that long ago, I reviewed a product by Taurus called their Bladeless Hanging Neck Fan. Do you remember that? Well, the company reached out to me wanting me to review something else. So today, we're going to be looking at their Monitor Fan Bar. What? I know. It's pretty cool, huh? It's a fan bar that sits on your monitor. Sounds cool, huh? Anyway, if you're new here, my name is Jeff. And this is Jeff Reviews for You. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing. Don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at this monitor fan bar to see if it can keep us cool. Here is our monitor fan bar by the company Taurus. Let's do a quick unboxing. All right, so we see we have the fan here in the middle. Take a look at that. They consider this a minimalist, stylish design. So you can see we can move the vent here a little bit. We have the Taurus name right here. Okay, so that's an expandable piece that can go around your laptop or TV monitor. It's like a matte finish. And I, I don't know if you've been seeing this, but when I'm touching it, it's sort of like getting finger smudges on there. One of those will wipe off. And let me read through the directions and see how to work this. So also in the box came with some directions, a USB power cord and a brush. And my guess is this is to clean out the fan if you need to. Now this does not have an internal battery. This is a USB powered device. So let's plug it in. And so you know when we're plugged in, we've got a green light meaning that it's on. And this button on the side, remember the gear switch button or the power button? It has three different settings. So you hit it once. It turns on. Hit it twice, goes a little faster, three times, faster yet, and then off. Pretty cool. Let's go set it up on our computer. All right, let's test out this computer fan. So what we do first, it's pretty simple. I just actually slide this on and it just clips. So pushes there, folds back, and it's really just held on by this back foot here on the back of the computer. This is what the laptop fan looks like installed on the laptop. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this USB port and plug it into the side here. So if I wanna turn it on, remember that button right here on the side, just do a quick touch. Low speed turns on. It's not that loud, but I do feel a nice breeze coming towards me, which is actually really refreshing. I was worried that the fan was gonna be too loud. Now this is on low speed. Let's see if I can get these bubbles to work. And you can see that there's, you know, some air blowing out. If you're not cool enough, tap it again. A little louder, but not too loud, but definitely a lot more air coming from there. And of course the third one, which is high, the highest yet, and also the noisiest, you can definitely see that there's a lot more wind coming out on the high speed. So tell me, what are your thoughts of this fan for your computer monitor? Pretty sweet, huh? Is this something that you would use? Have you used something like this? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I wanted to point out that this is a really refreshing breeze. It's about 74 degrees Fahrenheit in the room right now that I'm filming, which is not too hot, not too cold, but this provides a nice breeze and it's actually really, really comfortable. Now I want to show you the decibel level of this fan. So first we'll try it on low speed. You see it averages around the mid forties, 45, 46. Now let's turn it to medium. Right around 53 and 54. Now let's try it on high. So 55, 56, not too much higher than medium. So it's a pretty quiet fan. Although you do hear it, it's not terribly loud. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> you ever tried doing that with a typical fan? Well, this one actually has tubular air circulation, so there's not typical fan blades, so it's not gonna make that really cool noise. I was thinking, as this was sitting on top of my monitor, or on my laptop, I'm like, man, I'm really glad this is not taking up any of my desk space. That part, I really like. 
a couple of times I've been using this, I had to make sure to hold my laptop um, screen straight because if I had it backwards, just the weight of that fan drew it down. So make sure that you are supporting your, your um, screen itself because if this is tilted back too far, just the weight of the fan will make the laptop screen drop backwards. In today's day and age when everyone is video conferencing or zooming, I noticed that this fan blocks the camera. So you just might want to slide it over so that your camera is shown. Then again, you might want to be camera on with the fan in front of it. In this video, we were looking at Taurus's monitor fan bar. So what did I think of it? Well, let me tell you a story. Not that long ago, I was actually at a conference and there was a lot of people in the room and it was hot. I mean, they tried to turn that air conditioner to lower it to cool down the room. It didn't work. So what did I do? Popped open my laptop, threw on my fan bar and kept myself cool. And the people around me were like, whoa, that thing is really neat. And I was explaining what it was and like, I'm going to get one of those. So what did I think? It keeps you cool. And it really does. Regardless of the air conditioning being on, it blows a nice breeze right at you and I really like that. And like I said earlier, the sound wasn't too bad. Although on high speed, you noticed it, it still kept you cool and it wasn't really disruptive. What didn't I like about it? One, I really wish it would have had a battery. Even though my laptop battery will keep this thing running, if I ever forgot the cord, well then I'm just out of luck. Also the price point, $100 as per when I filmed this video, that's a lot of money. It's something you gotta think about. Hey, is this something that I wanna spend that money on or not? Plus they consider this slim, but it's actually kind of bulky and it was sort of hard for me to fit into my laptop bag. I was able to do it, but those are just my thoughts. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. Although not as practical of an application, but if you're ever just sitting around watching your favorite YouTuber, you could hook this to the top of your TV to provide a little extra airflow to the room. I wanted to show you that there is some flex to this, so it can fit your individual TV or laptop. You're just going to have to uh, maneuver it yourself instead of pushing it against the screen, just open and close it. I found that this was the exact width I needed for my laptop. With my TV, I had to spread it open for a little bit. Also, I did notice that there's a little sticker on here, um, or at least a cover on here. And so if you peel it off, there we go, I was able to get it. If you peel it off, it reveals a sticky surface, which will help it stick to your laptop or TV or whatnot. So that way it won't fall off itself. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of Taurus's monitor fan bar. You know what, during this video, I referenced my original review for Taurus, their neck fan. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here. And I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.